I'm Meredith from Graco, and I'm going to show you how to install your SlimFit LX car seat in the forward-facing mode using either the latch or the vehicle seat belt. Before you begin either method of installation, you'll need to prep your car seat. Remove your infant supports and store them away. Remove pockets if installed and set them aside for now. We'll show you how to properly install them at the end of this video. Then adjust the recline position to level three or four, marked with the orange label. Place the car seat forward facing in your vehicle and make sure the car seat is as flat as possible on the vehicle seat. Slide it back until it touches the vehicle seat back. You want 80% of the car seat to be making contact with your vehicle seat. Be sure that the base of the seat fits nicely in your car. Remove the tether from its storage location on the back of the car seat and route it under the vehicle headrest. We'll leave that there for now and connect it later in the installation. Undo the buckle and the chest clip and loosen your harness. Move the headrest up to the highest position for easy access to the belt path. Undo the snaps on both sides of the seat back and lift the seat pad and the backrest out of the way. Now I'll show you how to install the car seat using the latch system. Remove the lower anchor connectors from the storage location at the front of the seat by pushing on the red buttons. Make sure the lower anchor strap is in the forward facing belt path marked with an orange label. The strap should be flat and not twisted. Then connect the lower anchor connectors to the vehicle's lower anchors. You should hear a click when they connect. You may need to consult your vehicle manual if you are having trouble locating the vehicle's lower anchors. Be sure not to attach two lower anchor connectors to one vehicle lower anchor point. Pull to make sure it is securely attached. Tighten the lower anchor strap by pressing firmly in the center of the car seat and pulling the free end of the strap. You can thread the end of the strap back through the belt path if you need a bit more leverage. We now need to attach the tether strap. Extend the tether strap as far as needed in order to access the tether anchor. Again, consult your vehicle manual to find the exact placement of the tether anchor in your car. Tighten the tether strap, removing all the slack. Finally, check your installation by rocking the seat side to side and back and forth at the forward facing belt path. The seat shouldn't move more than an inch. If it does, tighten the vehicle latch again. Replace your car seat cover and redo the snaps. Move the headrest to the proper height for your child. Make sure to move the harness straps in front of the headrest pad. And you're all set. You can also install your car seat using the vehicle seat belt. Remember, you can't use the lower anchor and the seat belt at the same time. You only want to use one method of installation. Here's how to install using the vehicle seat belt. Store the lower anchor connectors in their storage location. Now route the vehicle seat belt through the forward facing belt path marked with an orange label. Buckle the seat belt. The seat belt should be flat and not twisted. Now we'll lock the vehicle seat belt. Pull the shoulder belt all the way out and then slowly feed it back in. You should hear a clicking sound. 
to test that your vehicle seatbelt is locked, try pulling it out. There shouldn't be much belt movement. Now, tighten the vehicle seatbelt. Press down firmly in the center of the car seat and pull the shoulder belt to tighten while feeding the slack back in. We now need to attach the tether strap. Extend the tether strap as far as needed in order to access the tether anchor. Again, consult your vehicle manual to find the exact placement of the tether anchor in your car. Tighten the tether strap, removing all the slack. Finally, check your installation by rocking the seat side to side and back and forth at the forward facing belt path. The seat shouldn't move more than an inch. If it does, tighten the vehicle seat belt again. Replace your car seat cover and redo the snaps. Move the headrest to the proper height for your child. Make sure to move the harness straps in front of the headrest pad. And you're all set. The SlimFit LX features My Pocket storage pockets, which are great for keeping kids' things close by. I'll show you how to attach your My Pocket storage pocket. The small pocket goes on the child's right side, and the large pocket goes on the child's left side. The pockets are not interchangeable. To attach, flip the armrest cover up to reveal the hidden snap on the inside of the armrest. Attach the My Pocket storage pocket to the snap on the inside and outside of the armrest. Reattach the armrest cover using the snap on the side of the My Pocket storage pocket. Repeat these steps on the other side. <laughs>